The Turtle Room, Education, Conservation, Survival. So something cool that I wanted to show you guys, um, I made a mistake. So um, it wasn't really cool at first, but um, afterwards, just thinking about the educational opportunity that, that this situation um, potentially uh, creates for us is kind of cool. So it's kind of a bad thing that's turned into something rather positive, but um, I accidentally hatched some hybrids. And normally when you try to um, do things the right way, be conservation minded, all that type of stuff, one thing you don't want to do is produce hybrids because, um, I mean, those animals can go into the pet trade and that's fine as long as you're um, transparent about what you have. Um, but when you have two endangered species that create hybrids, I think that's a real bummer. Um, personally, it's a, it's a per personal belief of mine. So you can disagree with that if you want to. But um, I have here some hybrids that I created this year. And as you can see, I mean, these are from the exact same clutch. You have one that's extremely large compared to the other and the plastral markings are um, completely different. Even the uh, markings on the carapace are completely different. The coloration is different. Um, these were um, laid by a huge Japanese Reeves turtle. And that's a really beautiful turtle that's large and, and black. Um, doesn't really look quite like other Reeves turtles. Um, and she laid 12 eggs, 12 huge eggs, which was really cool. Um, I was very excited to hatch the Japanese locale for the first time, pure Japanese. Um, and when they hatched, some of them looked like Quangtongs, which was really unfortunate. Quangtong River Turtles, Maremi's Nigra Khans. What stinks about that is that they were only together for a couple weeks when I was getting their enclosure ready when they first came in. And um, just a lesson to everybody that, you know, even though animals spend a majority of their time together, uh, certain animals that you want to breed, if you have some other animals in the mix, even for a short time, as I say, all it takes is one time, right? So, um, these were produced, but what's really interesting is the differences. And um, I think, and we have not had these turtles tested genetically. They were part of a, a um, study done at Hofstra University to test the um, metabolic rate of hatchling turtles. So they're kind of a uh, important part of that study that's going on right now, but we haven't actually tested them genetically. Um, I don't know anyone who can do that. So if you do, let me know. But um, I think what we have here is one female laying one clutch that uh, within that clutch, certain uh, individual animals have been sired um, by different sires. They have different fathers, basically, um, even though the female laid the clutch all together, which is something that has been proven to be possible in turtles. Honestly, I can't tell you whether or not it's possible in um, Moremis. I'm sure it does. These animals hybridize a lot. Um, and I think that this is proof that this is something that's probably possible. Um, so hopefully in the future, I'm able to do um, genetic testing on these animals and figure out if indeed that is, that is what's happened here. But I think the eye test alone um, points to, to that being pretty probable. So hopefully you think this is as cool as I, as I do, um, if you're a nerd like me. But at the same time, please don't try this at home. Nobody should be creating hybrids on purpose and you know we'll do what we can to make these animals uh, matter a little bit more than just being you know eventual pet turtles for more information on this and other exciting colonian species visit the turtle room.com check back every monday night for new videos from the turtle room <laughs>